Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This video that I'm gonna create is for me to teach you how to um, add a subtitle on on a uh, movie that you have downloaded to your computer. And uh, before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more notifications from my channel. So now let us start. Right, so the very first thing that you need is a tool for you to attach you know the subtitle file to a movie that you have so that's the first thing so for me I'm using the MKV tool Nix. So it's a free tool actually that you can install on your computer so all you have to do is go to google.com just type in MKV tool Nix. And the first, the very first um, link that will appear on the results. Just click that. So I did click the downloads and just look for the one that's compatible with Windows. There you go. Alright, so just click that link and you'll be routed to this page and just select if you have a 64-bit or if you have a 32-bit. So in my, in my end, I choose the 64-bit Windows installer. So I have to just click this link and start downloading it to your computer. And then after that, just run it, just install it and open your tool so now you will see it here this is now the mkv tool next after you you know install it on your computer so i actually have 32 bit so sorry about that <laughs> it's still version 63 so i haven't updated it yet but it still works actually it's best to have the the latest version of course so i'm gonna update this later on but let's just do this real quick have to do is right click on your mouse and add file and the file that you wanted to add the subtitle to so we have here the the new Netflix movie the man from Toronto so click on that and open okay so it's in there now we need to look for the subtitle file so on Google you can just type in the title of the movie and then just put English subtitles download so there are gonna be a lot of uh, results that will show up on google.com but I would highly recommend that you look for this site or uh, for example see this one Anyways, I'm going to put under the description on, uh, I mean, the, the most recommended sites that I have because I find it very easy to, to look for you know, a specific su subtitle from, from their site compared to the others. But if there's none, because there are some movies that's not available from these sites, so um, we can use YTS. So you just have to be patient because you have to look for the the most compatible file so that's that's a downside but anyways I'm gonna include that on the description below so. all right uh, so let's use this because this is uh, I really like this site I'm not affiliated with these websites okay so uh, so all you have to do is yeah click on that that, um, that result and you'll be routed here scroll down look for a download subtitle so once it's downloaded, just go to your computer downloads. All right, so here is the file. I would highly recommend um, to copy this file and paste it on the folder where you put all the movies that you have. Okay, and then after you paste it, uh, go to MKV, right click again, add file 
and then select the SRT file that you were trying to attach. Okay, all right. So once it's ready for attachment, this is the button you need to click. Start multiplexing. Um, if it's not yet ready, it will be grayed out. But since it's not, so that means it's ready. So we'll have to click that and wait for the progress. One eternity later. Okay, so we are done 100%. Now let's go back to the movie folder. And now, here you go. So you will know that um, the attachment is complete because there will be a brand new um, file that will be created. And the file type is MKV video file. Don't worry, it will, it will you know, it's always compatible with VLC or other, uh, you know, video players. So uh, this is the original file, and then this is the file where we attach the subtitles. So let's open it up to test if it worked, if it was successful, and make sure that you know the, the subtitles are not you know delayed or somehow incorrect so we, we need to check that as well and pause all your sensory organs if you still haven't told me what i need okay, to it works on this. first I don't like that. It is. okay just forward it and sometimes at the end of the video it's subtitles were not attached so that means that subtitle is not working you have to look for another one, another file. So this one seems to be good, but let's check the, the end part. Alright, that's it. Um, we're all set, and you can enjoy watching the movie with a subtitle. Thank you so much for watching, and again, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, take care.